Hi, I'm John Pratchett and I'm at the Glen Sound HQ and in this video I'm going to give you a walkthrough of the menu system on the Divine Intelligent Loudspeaker from Glen Sound. So let's have a look at the first option which is Audio EQ. This is a user selectable EQ for use in different environments and for different purposes. A number of preset EQs are provided. Initially, there are three, but this will be extended in the future. So Natural provides what Glen Sound believes to be the best all-round audio response. We have Normal, which makes the Divine sound similar to old legacy units, and Pop has a more pleasing radio sound uh, for music, for example. Uh, the EQ can also be set to off for a completely flat response. So next is the LF cut. This is a low frequency cut facility and can be selected if the divine is situated in the corner, for example, or, or hard against a wall or floor to help uh, with resonating low frequencies and we can set it to on or off. Next is gain boost. Now the divine's internal circuitry is very carefully designed to provide perfect performance even when the incoming signal is at full scale. As most program signals are, of course, well below full scale, the selectable gain boost provides a greater output volume if needed, and that has a range from 0 to plus 24 dB. Moving on, we have meter mode. Now, there are four LEDs on the front panel, uh, and these LEDs can be set as program level meters in two different ways. They can be set to show the currently selected source level across all four LEDs and operate vertically much like a traditional PPM. Each LED can also be set to show just its own source level, which is possible because the Divine uses RGB LEDs and can alter their color with blue indicating cold level through to green, amber until red indicates a high level. Next, we have input enable, and this allows you to enable or disable independently each of the inputs. Next, we have programmable input summing. Now, the Divine features four network audio inputs and a simple to operate front panel select switch routes these audio inputs to the loudspeaker. These individual inputs can be mixed together to monitor multiple sources, and this mixing function can be set in the menu system. As you can see, we can set summing between one and two, three to four, or one to four. Moving on, we have input delay, and you can add a delay to each of the individual input channels separately from five milliseconds all the way up to 40 milliseconds. The next option is input filter. Input filter allows you to put a bandpass filter optimized specifically to the voice to be set to any of the input channels, particularly good if you have just vocals coming down on one of the channels. Next, we have the priority channel selector. This allows an input coming in on a specific channel to override the other channel. Even if the speaker is turned down, you will still hear the audio on any channel that's been set to a priority interrupt. Next, we have lockable user controls. So in some environments, you may not want to be able to alter the volume or input source. So these can be separately locked. Also, the advanced functions in the menu can be locked as well. A minimum volume level can be set from minus 28 dB to minus 54 dB or just off. And this prevents the user from being able to completely turn off the speaker. Uh, next, we have volume limit. A volume limit can be set from 0 to minus 12 dB. After that, we have a lineup level. So this is for compatibility with worldwide usage. And the lineup level can be set to minus 18, minus 20, or minus 24 dBFS. After that, we have a power saving mode. So the divine can be set to go into power saving mode if it does not receive an audio signal for between five and 60 minutes, and this is configurable through this menu. After that, we have dark mode. The front panel LEDs and rear LCD screen are all set as standard to be visible in normal operating conditions. However, some locations, such as theatres and studios, require as little equipment light as possible. So when set to dark mode, the select LEDs are dimmed and the LCD backlight turned off when not in use. 
So as you can see, there are an awful lot of options in the Divine Intelligent Loudspeaker from Glen Sound. If you want to find out more about this little speaker, go and have a look at their website. It's glensound.com. You'll find all the information under the Dante AES67 section.